I'm running. We're driving. <clears throat> we're driving rivets out with a rivet buster. Unfortunately, driving it out separated the wrought iron, and maybe it's a little bit of indication of some laminar separation of the wrought iron actually right in here. So now we're going to try another technique where we're actually using going to cut out, cut the rivet out wash the top of the rivet head off, cut the rivet as much of the inside of the rivet as possible and then drive it out to try to avoid any problem with it. Okay. Separation. It does look like a little lamination in that. That's a wrought iron plate, it's scary. Right. So when they roll it, a lot of time when they roll it, they always roll it, <coughs> they put, out, put it in muck bars and then re-rolled it. So, might have been uh, during the manufacture. So Memo is going to, he's using a, a he's gonna, special washing tip. Special washing tip. And it's going to be, it's designed, to, it's designed actually to avoid cutting into the parent metal. So he's going to wash it. And this tip is actually used for uh, washing out welds and also the rivet head. It's pretty popular for rivets. They call it a gouging tip. A rivet gouging tip. It's pretty effective. Isn't it? First of all, I got to preheat the head. It preheats the head, gets it really, gets it hot, brings it up to what they call kindling temperature. Once you get that up to kindling temperature in the air, it will hit the pure oxygen, the cutting oxygen, and you're going to see that's what a lot of times when people wash these rivets off of the material off, they don't get the material hot enough. So what he's doing, he's got right at the top, bring it up to kindling temperature, then he hits the pure oxygen trigger, and he wasn't able to wash it off. Now, what some people do, they'll start right at the bottom of the tip. You try to cut the whole tip off from the bottom and you can't do it. You always have to wash the tip out. Wash it out by starting at the very top. Excellent, excellent. That is awesome. Down there, right? And now what he's going to do, he's going to set set his torch up. What's important, he's got a nice clean tip, and he's set. What's important whenever you're doing that cutting torch, boy, now what's going to happen, because, because we've got that rivet still hot, we don't have to do a lot of preheating. Now what's going to happen, it's, it's going to blow back. So but watch your eyes, because it's just possible. He's going to bring that up to kindling temperature, and the first thing that's going to do, it's going to go blow back. And then, once he... Put a little water on it, then they're gonna take the rivet, then they'll take the rivet buster. Good, good, that's enough. Now keep in mind, when they do this in production, they're gonna wash off a whole bunch of rivets. Then they'll come back and follow up, burn out the rivets, and they'll each operation, they won't be doing a single rivet, they'll be doing multiple rivets. Thank you. 
So what do you do? You want to be careful with that rivet to snap this way.